Hey guys, this is Hassan and welcome to my channel Hassan Academy. Today we are going to learn few organic reactions which are very important. Okay, so basically we are going to learn formalization reaction, few reactions where aldehyde is going to produce or CH2 group is going to add. That is nothing but formal group. So it is also called formalization reaction. So four to five five reaction we are going to discuss here. So these are very important reaction. And if you are a IIT JEE aspirant or NEET aspirant, for you it is very much important because from here question may come or definitely at least one question you will get from here okay direct question you may not get but somewhere uh, you may get one or two question from here okay so first of all you should learn one mnemonics if you have seen my previous video you know i i am using mnemonics to so that the student can remember easily so this s for switzerland and r z e r this you can say as Roger Federer. Who is Roger Federer? He is a very good tennis player from Switzerland. So this way also you can remember or you can remember as surgery. This is somewhat looks like surgery or I know it is not similar but you have to remember this way so that it will be useful. But write in this way also only okay. S R G R is equal to A. Why A? A for aldehyde. A for aldehyde. Everywhere you will get this CHO group, that's why I am writing is equal to A, A for aldehyde. And for what is the meaning of all this alphabet? S for Stephen reaction, S for Stephen reaction, R for Rosenmond reduction, Rosenmond reduction, okay. And Z for this is very important Rosenmond reduction. This year only came okay 2021 January attempt ITJE. I think 27th of January evening shift this question came. I already discussed also Z for Gatterman reaction. Gatterman Gatterman coach Gatterman coach reaction. E for Etard reaction. Etard reaction. And R for Raymar Tayman reaction. Raymar Tayman reaction it is also called rtr short form it is very important okay all of this also all of these are very important there is nothing like only one is important i am going to explain this rtr with whole details mechanism and all and other also already i will tell you the mechanism so if you are watching this video you take a screenshot and write this moment only because i am going to wrap okay so let's start with first one that is stephen reaction stephen reaction okay so what is happen here you have to take alkyl nitrile and the what you will use here essential 2 essential 2 plus hcl or in the presence of hcl what is essential 2 basically stannous chloride one thing i am telling here only this tin is showing variable valency when it is showing plus 2 variable valency then it is name is stannous if it is essential for at that time it is showing plus 4 valency that time it is name is stannic okay so this thing you already know and after that second step hydrolysis is required that you can write as H plus or H3O plus and from here you will get aldehyde okay so details reaction mechanism all the things I am not going to tell here but here I will give you a shortcut idea this is alkyl nitride C triple bond N okay so once you do Reduction by SNCl2 in the presence of HCl, after reduction, it will produce imine, okay, or imine, whatever you want to pronounce, CH double bond NH. This is imine, okay. After hydrolysis, you have to do hydrolysis. After hydrolysis, it will produce C double bond OH aldehyde, okay. So, this is very important and I am showing very shortcut way. Details I will discuss in some other video or maybe in offline classes, but you have to understand so this is going to happen initially uh, nitrile is there that will produce imine after reduction then hydrolysis and you going to produce okay i'm going to rub you can take a screenshot one is done a stephen reaction is done what is our second reaction that is rodan rosenmond reduction this is also came this year only and previous also it is came rosenmond reduction okay so what really happened here you have to take benzoyl chloride benzoyl chloride cl after that what is the end product end product is obviously this c double one o cl this cl will replace by hydrogen okay formaldehyde this formaldehyde this is nothing but benzaldehyde but what is the reason here you need to use hydrogen in the presence of palladium in basso4 
okay so one thing i want to tell you that this reagent is also called lillard catalyst it is very important not only here in many reactions they are going to show due to h2 in the presence of gallium in beryllium uh, sulfate they are also if anywhere alkyne is there see suppose uh, anywhere is there r r like that some group is there alkyne if you put this reagent after that it will produce R C double bond C R that is cis alkene. It is going to produce cis alkene. So this is very important. Okay, not only here in some many places. This is you can remember this name. This is Lindard catalyst. Lindard catalyst. Okay. Here simply this Cl is going to replace by hydrogen. So aldehyde uh, formulation is going to happen. You can take a screenshot. Number three, we are going to discuss Gatterman coach. This is also very easy and very important. Gatterman coach, coach uh, reaction. Gatterman coach reaction. So here, from here, K O C H. If you remember C H O, from here you can if you arrange it, you can arrange it this way. Okay, so you can remember that CHO that means CHO group going to add with our reactant. What is our reactant? Benzene. Okay, and what are the reagents we need to add in first step plus CO plus HCl? Even you put comma, it is correct only. CO plus HCl and second step anhydrous. What is mean by anhydrous? Anhydrous means absence of water. Anhydrous AlCl3 in presence of cuprous chloride CuCl then it is going to produce the benzyl dehyde CHO let's show you very small reaction what they are going to form carbon monoxide in the presence uh, plus HCl they are going to produce formyl chloride okay formyl chloride going to produce then obviously AlCl3 is there AlCl3 is there it will take this Cl minus and after that formyl cation going to produce this is electrophile okay once electrophile we got and this benzene is there after that you all know what we what is going to happen electrophilic aromatic substitution so it will come and it will replace one hydrogen and you will get this okay it's very easy gatterman course from here koch you remember cho group is going to come number four is etard reaction etard reaction ETAR reaction ETAR reaction what is going to happen this also came many times previous in competitive exam here you can take toluene what is toluene benzene with ch3 toluene and you have to use one reagent chromyl chloride cro2 cl2 chromyl chloride in the presence of ch2 okay in place of ch2 you can even use carbon tetrachloride what is mean by uh, ch2 and carbon tetrachloride these, these are non polar solvent okay after that definitely chromium complex you will get after hydrolysis after hydrolysis you will get the benzyl dehyde in between one step is there whoever chromium complex you are going to get after hydrolysis you will get benzyl dehyde chu okay you can take a screenshot here only before going to remarty one i want to tell about stephen one more uh, thing that how you remember this stephen reaction Stephen reaction okay so the a form s you remember stannous chloride okay Stephen from s you remember stannous chloride and remember like that that Stephen is the name of a scientist who is belongs to Russia Russia okay so if you pronounce this Russia in Hindi Russia then R C N Russian okay suppose Russian he is a Russian scientist so R C N so R C N N will be there alkyl natural after that this is our reagent then it is going to produce and you know this mnemonic a for aldehyde so it is going to reduce this and going to form aldehyde okay so today this is our last reaction number 5 that is reimer teman reimer teman reaction okay so this is very important okay so what we are going to do here initially we need to take phenol okay phenol will react in first step chloroform what is chloroform ch cl3 plus 
NaOH or KOH, both you can use somewhere. Uh, some book they are showing NaOH, some book showing KOH, both correct. Okay, and second step you have to do the hydrolysis by H plus only, nothing is there. Then here, what will happen? OH and here CHO group will come. Okay, so this compound name is orthohydroxybenzaldehyde. This is IUPAC name. I am going to. I am telling you. But what is the common name? Common name is very popular. Salicylaldehyde. Salicylaldehyde. Dehyde. Yes, salicylaldehyde. Salicylaldehyde. This is very common name. And one thing I want to tell you here only. This only ortho CHO you will get nothing like that. You will get even para product also. OH is there and para CHO. Here, this both pro product you will get ortho and para hydroxy benzaldehyde. Okay, so from this ortho, intramolecular hydrogen bond is going to produce, and in case of para, intermolecular hydrogen bond will produce. Since it is intra, this is inter, their melting point will be different, boiling point will be different. Based on their boiling point, it will separate. Okay. So this reaction you can write and now I am going to write the details mechanism of this reaction, how it is produced and all this thing. Okay, you can take this screenshot. This is very very important. You always remember in this case ortho is major product. Okay. So let's start the mechanism of Riemann-Riemann reaction. Mechanism. Mechanism of Riemann-Riemann reaction. So initially, first step what is done? CaCl3 plus NaOH. So here only reaction will happen between these two and intermediate will produce. One carbene is going to produce that is very much important. That is also electrophile. So all these things I am going to tell you. CH, Cl, Cl, Cl is there. And what is our base? OH minus. Just take as OH minus. Okay. So this all three chlorine is electronegative. Due to that they are pulling electron towards themselves all chlorine is pulling electron and due to that this partial positives are produced and this easily can remove H plus. The, it will release, release easily H plus and it will produce Cl, Cl, Cl is there, one negative charge here. Okay? So after that, this, this, this step is very fast. After that, second step is slow. From here, Cl minus is going to re release. One Cl will release again because Na plus is out there already present. So what will produce C C L C L and one negative charge is there. This negative charge I am writing this way. Two electron. Negative charge means two electron. So I can write like this. And this is called carbene. This is called carbene. So many time question came regarding this. What is the carbene produced in Riemann-Riemann reaction? So what is your answer? Answer is singlet dichloro dichloro carbene. So carbene is two types singlet or triplet. This one is singlet and it is very much important because they are asking this one. And sometimes they are asking what are, what is the electrophile produced in Riemann-Riemann reaction. So student gets get confused that where electrophile is produced they can't say they can't say any electrophile any electrophile because they are uh, thinking that electrophile means positive charge is going to produce and there is no any compound anything producing here with positive charge. So let me tell you, this carbene is an electrophile. Carbene is a electrophile. Carbene is an electrophile here. Okay. In this case, it is an electrophile. Okay. So how it is electrophile? If you see this two electron is here, then this bond is two electron four. This bond is two electron six. Two four six. So carbon has only six electron. But carbon for to fulfill its octet, it requires eight electron. Since it is lack lack of two electrons, so it will act as an electrophile. It wants some more electron to fulfill its octet. So it is what it is the electrophile. So once we got the electrophile, now we know what to do. It will react with our phenol. So this is our first step. Should I rub and go to second step? Anyway, let's start from here. This is our phenol, okay. So in base OH minus is there, and you already know phenol is very much acidic, so it is re always ready to release the H plus. So this H plus will be taken by this base, and it will convert to phenoxide ion. And phenoxide ion is more stable than phenol, O minus, okay. So now what will happen? This negative charge will come this way, and this is going to come here.
once carbon negative charge it is a better nucleophile compared to o minus so it will attack our electrophile what is our electrophile ccl2 two electron is there carbon or negative charge also you can write but don't be confused this negative charge how it is attacking another negative charge this is not negative charge this is electrophile so it will produce somewhat c cl cl and here one hydrogen is there from before us okay so take a screenshot because i am going to draw the first step take a screenshot i will draw this one also otherwise i have to cut in this backward way better i will go from here again let's come this way only. so up to here it is okay so now i am coming this way don't be confused okay from here reaction is start from here reaction is start this way it is going it will come this way Let's draw benzene. This, then this, Cl, Cl. One negative charge is there. Here, one negative charge is there. This negative charge is nothing but these two electron. Okay, negative charge is there. Here, one hydrogen is there, and this is our things. So from here, see one thing I want to say you here. You should have some other. things idea also like aromaticity this benzene phenol is here benzene ring is aromatic here also it is aromatic but once this pi electron is gone here and after that reaction happen if you see here here only 2 4 4 pi electron is there so it is lose it is already lose its aromaticity which is very much unstable always they want to be aromatic so what will happen this negative charge will take this h as h plus and this electron will come here and this pi bond will go to there you understand what i have done from this this carbon has this hydrogen this hydrogen will take uh, this carbon will take this hydrogen as a proton s plus and this bond will come here and this pi electron is going to again with to oxygen so what will happen next step it already gain the aromaticity so o minus and this will produce ch cl cl now it is very interesting from here two method is there okay two mechanism different people telling uh, different two mechanism and i feel both is correct and i am going to show you both one okay this one you remember and uh, take a screenshot because i am going to write from here those both two take a screenshot and at the end you arrange all this and write nicely okay so from here i am going to show you that both method which one people drawing and both are correct o minus then ch cl cl okay so one method method one what they are doing since we are ba using base and os so os minus is there so os minus will replace os minus will replace the cl os minus will replace the cl 1 2 3 o minus and this ch one one uh, oh cl will replaced by oh and another cl is gone replaced in the sense oh is came coming cl minus is gone because cl is a good living group you should know that okay now from here what will happen if i write this one little with little arrangement c o h and obviously one hydrogen is there okay now you see the reaction very nicely this negative charge this negative charge will take this hydrogen as a proton and this negative this bond will come here okay once this bond coming here let me tell uh, explain in two step so it is happening OH already we got, and here CO minus is there. Okay, here CL is there. Here hydrogen is there. So this minus O minus will come here, and it will produce double bond, and CL will leave since CL is a leaving group. So you already got the product. OH C double bond produced. CL is gone. What is left? Hydrogen. This is our product.
okay and this thing happen in para position also this is ortho hydroxy benzyl dehyde or salicylate dehyde this thing happen will uh, benzyl dehyde also okay i mean para position also so this is one of the method then let's show you the another method another method is one oh will come one cl is replaced you see why i am telling both is one cl is replaced another cl is there hydrogen is there again one more oh minus will come since base is out there so it will produce o minus is there oh oh so two dihydroxy in same carbon two hydroxy group in same uh, same carbon is not stable from here hydrogen will happen that means o water will release from here water will release and it will produce it will produce since in reaction at the end we are putting h plus so it is going to get oh hope you understand from here this hydrogen only taken as h plus and this oh will go as oh minus so here one um, bond was there that bond will come here and it will produce c double mono so this is the two method both method both is possible this way also you can go this way also you can go through both is correct okay so one thing i want to tell you this is salicylate dehyde okay let me take a screenshot and draw this is salicylate dehyde and if i produce here i mean oh here c double o h then that is called salicylic acid okay that is will produce from colvest reaction so initially phenol you have to react with sodium hydroxide sodium phenoxide will produce after that carbon dioxide and h plus if you put that will produce c double o c o o h salicylic acid okay so this is salicylic acid and if i able to do acetylation here OH group, then we will get acetyl salicylic acid, and that is a very important compound that is called aspirin. We all know about aspirin, that is one good analgesic. Aspirin is a painkiller or analgesic. So, how to do the acetylation in OH? So, for that, you have to react with acetic anhydride, that is not a part of. Uh, Remotement reaction that is Colby Smith reaction, but still I am showing you H plus will go on here. This part portion will let us here. This H will go with CH3 C double one C O H acetic acid. So from here you will get this one O C O C H3 and C double C O H carboxyl group. Okay. So this is what salicylic acid. This is acetyl salicylic acid. Acetyl salicylic acid. This is salicylic acid. This is nothing but aspirin, which is very much useful, very much common, many times coming. And what is byproduct? CH3 byproduct is this part is gone. CH3 C O A C O O. This H will come here. Acetic acid. So that's all from my side. There are some other reaction also which produce the formulation, which show, uh, giving addition of CHO group. One of that is uh, Welchmeyer Heck reaction, where you have to do uh, either phenol or with any uh, benzene group, benzene ring with electron donating group. You have to react with DMF, dimethyl formamide, dimethyl formamide in the presence of POCl3. Then you will get. CHO group addition. So that's all from my side. If you are watching this video, kindly do share with your friends so that I can make more and more video. Thank you for watching. Keep sharing. Thank you.